Hello, I'm Elo and welcome by Medieval Engineers. Falling Towers this episode is going to be called. And the idea was that I just place the tower, lob something at the bottom of it and it will fall down. But that didn't happen. Sadly. Just, you see I copied uh, my biggest tower I could create in this game. Over here. And over there. With a little bit of rubble in the way and one on the mountain. Two on the mountain. And this is one of the options that will happen all the time. Just the bottom part will just break off. Or it will snap into three pieces because it is made of three pieces. But we just lose a little bit of damage here, not too much. But most of the time the towers will fall the other way or will just collapse on itself before it could reach castle. Round towers didn't help either. So this one is falling correctly, but correctly the wrong way. It will fall down nicely in the woods. Some nice destruction, dissolving, take some trees out, looks all nice. It will also kill my frame rate half of the time, but you can't have anything. So I here, I placed it at the right part, and it will just slide down the other way. Also mostly because of the weak part is on the other side of the tower, but once I turn those, it won't, doesn't help at all falling down. Looks still nice, destruction, always a nice. New tower and here we'll clearly see you have the foundation block, the stone block and a wooden wall and it will collapse on the points where they are connected to each other. That is a little bit of an annoying point. And mostly the top part will dissolve before it ever reaches the ground. One close by before this would happen, this should happen. And no, it would go down the other way. So, yeah. Game wasn't performing what I wanted to do. Place one in the middle and then something new occurs. It would just turn into a solid block. So, I destroyed the bottom half and now the top part is floating. Strange. Should be something in the game. It's also recorded quite some time ago. And now I'm lobbing at it. The stone balls. Massive amount of damage. Massive amount of killing my frame rate. And it won't still collapse. You can also see when it will go down, everything will go green. But we already saw that in another episode. And here the tower just haven't enough space before it will go completely down to reach fully the castle. In the end it did happen, one landing on the castle, but that was some uh, way all the time when I was not recording it. Shame for that. And here it is already dissolving into three pieces and then dissolving it all. Still nice to see something rolling up the mountain. It lands quite far, and here I decided to go for the round tower, which have about the same effect, but this one is only considered of two pieces, and the top part will fall off into many pieces. As you can see, tower 2 didn't work either, much the same way as tower 1. It still does some damage with the falling debris, but not what I hope for. See most of the cars were still intact, few walls, few bit of here, roofs. And here I placed one on the tower, same effect as the other one I placed in the castle. But this time it will fall down because the bottom one is hit by the rocks I lopped at it because I still had them selected. And you know Ctrl C, Ctrl V, the Ctrl is the shoot button. So there you have it. Nice dissolving by the way. And here 
this one looks like I was going the right way, but then it is like it. I want to go downhill and it never reached the castle. Yes, there. A little bit hit it. And here I hit a few at my own castle with the balls, but far more damage than all the towers combined. So I for well I place one on top of the highest mountain. And you will see that what happened after that in my previous episode, Mountain Slide. So I advise you watch that. So this will be the end of this episode. I will thank you all for watching and goodbye.